Welcome back to Fatal Frame 2. Last time, we started looking at the twin deity statues, hoping to find keys. I still want the notes myself. And I think we just found the other key. How are things going, everyone? You know what? That is where the key is. Like, it's not exactly subtle. Let's see if we can find another one, just in case the notes are based off of event flags. And, you know, maybe, maybe I just overlooked one. But if not, uh, we will just go and grab the key and... Open the door. And we're probably going to get attacked again, let's be real, but that is not why I'm doing this, I swear. There, there has to be more statues further in like that. This is the... That's the only explanation. I refuse to believe it's it's actually a pixel hunt. All right, on we go. Examination of the lower portion of the statue uncovers a small wooden block. It's shaped like one half of the, uh, shaped like one of the stone statues, but it's only the right half. Oh! Actually, wrong film. Oh, not wrong film. Correct film. Two more. You're done. All right. Well, finally, we're back to normies with no weapons. These are way easier to deal with. spot, admittedly. I believe that's both of them. Yep. Did an item get spawned as a result of that ambush? See, those don't get you as bad when they just appear. Uh, they're not as bad as literally being in your face when you raise the camera. So, we got our keys. Let's hope we can find the notes before too much longer. Insert the two twin statue keys into the left and right doors. Yay. Alright, is there a... Oh, there's an item. 
No statue. There's something on the ground. Purple medicine. I heard something, but I don't see nothing. technical difficulties so let's uh let's try that again shall we okay i don't know what the hitch there was prior but uh seems like we're good now Ooh, right in your face. Uh, what? Okay. I, I can't even get mad about being hit by that. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Get you a girl who has her own built-in aquatic soundscape. Preferably with a little less, uh, you know, otherworldly nonsense built in. Not a fatal frame. Shocking. Times like that, that you want the uh, the gimmick that helps you time them. Still, she's not too bad. Come on, do something. Uh, not 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 at that angle, though. A shining object is stuck in between the boards of the broken bridge. A green crystal. And a spirit orb. What? Again? Oh, I bet it's right here. Drowned woman. I'll hold out for the range upgrade. These have a statue at the end of the bridge. They don't.
bloody kimono. Oh, there's a save point. You can faintly make out the outline of trees through the darkness. Nobody could be taking care of them now, but they still blend beautifully with the landscape. Is there a side path? Not path, but a little hidden. Some shining spirit orb, thanks. Crimson colored peonies lie scattered on the dark ground. Uh, yeah, I guess we just missed the note, which is a shame, but I'm I'm not going searching for it after all that. If we didn't find it after all that, uh, it's meant to be this way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save it, just so I don't have to redo that whole deal again. I don't know what the crash was for, but it happened, so uh, we will hopefully avoid it in the future. seems to be locked. Is that the only side door? Yes. Alright, into the front it is. No, you pulled the door. The flashlight. Yeah, going over to the next chapter is probably indicative of having missed it. Seems to be held shut by some powerful force. Oh, I drifted off. So that that's on me. Flowers in the urn are completely withered and dry. They crumble at your touch. Guests must have been entertained here at one time. There's a lock engraved with a butterfly design on the door. Uh... Camera? Terrified man. Found some camera equipment and film. The instant additional functions. Instant. Detects the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by making the light in the upper part of the viewfinder flash red. And yeah, fatal frame is the most opportune moment to shoot within a shutter chance. If you capture a fatal frame, a shutter chance will 
uh, occur during the blast back. Shooting again during the shutter chance creates a combo shot. I don't know if I couldn't do that prior to having this or what, but it didn't seem like it would work the other times I tried it. But I'll show that off in a minute because it's going to be... Look, I I'm going to be real with you. Combat in this game, usually not that bad. And when you know the exact time to aim for... Oh. And when you know the exact time to aim for, it's more of a... It's more fun than anything. Interesting. Didn't realize it would show me uh, the rooms she'd been in. says you find some film, that's when you find Type 14, I guess. Okay, so maybe it's a difference in the Xbox version, but they also include a sound cue. Wouldn't surprise me if it was an addition after the Plunks the Xbox version had uh, an additional ending to boot. Looking between the torn sliding screens, you can see into a dim room. That's not suspicious at all. There are a great many bloody handprints on the plastered wall. The prints were made with such force. force. You can see indentations in the plaster. Oh, it seems to be held shut by some powerful force. Pardon me? Wait. Okay. I thought it would have been funny if I could actually see the door and, like, take a photo of the ghost to erase their presence on the door. Now the door will open? Because that, cause that might have been considered technically still being in a fight? No. Okay.
Something shining in light. Spirit orb. And I believe there's no doors. Yes, it's just the one. Okay. We're doing quite well on uh, basic power-ups, I would say. That's most likely progress. I want what's right here. Something on the force? A, hey, I'll take it. We're just going to ignore that. Oh, never mind. Thumb. Do not engage things that seem uh, too strong, too dangerous. And there goes my primary. Uh, I'm for shining fluoride. Okay, great. Let's listen to it while running away from the big scary guy. Okay, we got plenty. Oh, I neglected to listen to this one. Yeah, uh, a lot of these were not very peaceful. Kind of like ours would be if uh, the big guy grabs us. Uh, speaking of... Did he glitch? 
Oh, no, he's just... Feeling? Okay. Alright, whatever. Now, I will admit... Oh, hold up. Yeah, yeah. Further? Huh. Something's reflecting in the light. Stone mirror. We want that. There is a large... There is an object here covered by a large cloth. The cloth is filthy from being exposed to the elements. Now, I will admit, uh, my primary time playing through this was on the Xbox version, so I can't comment too much. Rain is pouring down on the small garden, open to the skies. But I am noticing a few things here and there that uh, are definitely different, and we have had a crash. That's all I'm saying. A save point, you know what? We're just about in time for that anyway. Farewell note that I will not find, because I bet I can't find it anymore. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, I will admit that there's a few more technical difficulties coming up with this one than there was with one, and hopefully these are the only ones we find, but who knows. But let's hope for a smooth run, because uh, like I said, two's really good. I, I really do love Crimson Butterfly. It, it was it was super solid, but we, we will see. And again, it could just be various aspects on my end, so who knows. But as always, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. You take care of yourselves and have a wonderful evening. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, take it easy.